everyone and welcome back to a new video. It is March 1st today. My name is Asia. If you're new here, welcome back. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you'd like. Um, yeah, so it's March 1st. I'm just sitting down to redo my kind of calendar that I do every month and I just thought I would chat about it with you guys. So over here I have my goals. So take my vitamins, multivitamin and creatine. I have my bulking phase diet that I'm um, on, which is pretty much just sticking to healthy meals, eating mostly whole foods, um, having protein with every meal and make sure I'm getting enough carbs for my workouts. In bed by 10.30. This I really sucked at the last couple weeks. I've been go going to bed at about 11.30, 12, when I normally usually go to bed at about 10, 10.30. So that has been dramatically needing to change. Um, let's see, create more content. Here we are, I'm, I'm doing a goal right now. <laughs> um, and work out four times per week. So the four times per week workouts, I am on a program. So that constitutes of I think it goes in between full body and upper lower split, but main point in my training is I'm hitting squat, bench, and deadlift twice a week. So that's more than I usually do. Like if I was just to do my own program, I would usually do squat, bench, and dead one day a week, and then like accessory movements throughout. But this has really been good. It's been keep me, keeping me to a program and keeping me kind of on track of strength progression. So as you can see here, Last month was February, and I'm working out four days a week, taking rest days just as I need them. So usually I'll have like two days on, one day off type of thing down here. So this last week I did a lot of work. I forgot my program here, so that's why I did my own workout. I'm gonna erase this, and got my little station here set up with all my little markers. So we're going to redo it for March. All right, so as you can see here, I usually leave me putting in my what I've done till after I actually do a workout because if I do it pre pre-planned I don't really let my body like know when I need rest and I'm just sticking to that and I like to do it the other way but um, I just wanted to say the only form of cardio that I'm doing right now at all is my high intensity classes that I teach on Tuesdays and Thursdays so other than that I'm not hitting any cardio other than just walking and trying to get my steps in which by the way, I find really challenging. Like I find getting enough steps in really hard. Um, like 10,000 steps is what a lot of people are doing right now as, they're like, as their goal. And I think I might make that another goal on my actual goals here because I don't know, I hit like maybe 7,000. Let's check. So I have my Apple Watch, my little fit rings here. It shows me all what I've done. So like for instance, today, today I've taken 2,000 steps almost exactly so I haven't had a workout or anything literally all I did was I woke up I went and had a client and then I came back home because my tummy was feeling really sore and achy which usually it's not like that like I, I did have a pretty like off track weekend this last weekend because I drank for the first time in a long time and that just messes up my whole system. I don't know if anybody else gets that. That was Saturday night. Sunday was just like kind of a write off. I didn't really eat that well. I still ate. Like we had like a big pasta shrimp dinner that we made, me and Eli. Um, we made it with a couple of friends on Skype, which was so fun. Like having little dinner dates with your friends. If, if you guys want an idea of something to do where you and your friends can like socially distance do an activity, um, this is what we did on Sunday night, so last night. We got together with uh, one of my friends and her boyfriend over Skype. So they're at their house, I'm, me and Eli are at our house. We pick a recipe together 
that day we could get all the ingredients and stuff and then we start cooking I think at like six o'clock we started and you just make the recipe and then you sit down and you eat dinner and like you're eating the same food technically just like with different ingredients well same ingredients just cooked at separate houses and so you're just on Skype with them and you're just like having a dinner and you can like rate the food and be like who did it better and like stuff and it was so fun so we did that then I woke up today just feeling tummy achy I had some granola and strawberries this morning and I couldn't even finish it and it was like a, not even a big bowl I had like three bites and I was like this feels awful, my tummy feels gross. I was gonna actually stay at the gym this morning after my client, but I was like, well, I haven't eaten. Um, I'm not gonna go into a workout like just malnourished and like not crush it, you know what I mean? Like I'd rather go home, get some fuel, get some rest, and then go back, because I do have a client um, later in the day, so I will go back to the gym before her. In other news, since I did just straighten my hair, I've been Kind of, so like this is my natural color till about here, which is pretty like nice and chocolate, like dark brown. And then this is all the, what used to be blonde. So it was dyed. And I've been like, just loving the shampoo and conditioner from Monet or Monet or whatever. And it just makes my hair so like nice and silky. I still have quite a bit of spots and discoloration here, but I have no makeup on right now other than a little bit of mascara. So yeah, that's been still a struggle. And I'm thinking about getting the Alani Balance. I saw it on Nikki Blackheader, I think that's how you pronounce her last name, um, on her story that she uses the Be Balanced gummies or something, or I'm not sure. I think it, it was a scoop, a scoop of something, but on their website, it's there's only the Be Balanced like pills, pill form. So. I read up on the reviews and it looks really good and there's just like hormone imbalance because I tried to set up a point a point can I speak I tried to set up an appointment with a dermatologist and they're like oh you need a you need a referral from your family doctor and I was like okay which I could go do or I could go to a clinic and get a referral or I could just buy this be balanced stuff and see if it works but I really do want to get into the habit of having a nice like healthy skin routine, skincare routine, like I'm I'm so jealous of, of people that have just such nice skin or know how to get that, you know? And for me, it's just not my area of expertise at all. So I'm trying to learn all I can and I'll watch some YouTube videos about it because what else do you do when you don't know something about something? You watch YouTube. So that's why I love this platform. Anyways, I'm gonna go make my overnight oats because I forgot to do that last night. And I will try to film a workout today. So it's a full body squat focused. That should be fun. I'm just looking in my pictures and I got glasses. I got glasses. Let me actually show you. They're just in the bathroom. <laughs> you like them? They're kind of silly, hey? I'm really happy with the frames that I chose. They're like, they've got this little extra metal piece up top here. Nice little like cat eye, which I always go for. Like all of my sunglasses are like cat eye like this. It took us forever to pick out the, the like frames that we wanted. Good morning, everyone. It's a brand new day. Well, it's just the next day from yesterday when you saw me. Um, I'm gonna go do a workout. I actually am gonna change out of this. I was wearing this in one of my Instagram posts that I just made. I'm gonna post a HIIT workout. So when I do my HIIT workouts, I just kind of like put them right there and put my tripod up. Um, but now I'm supposed to do an actual workout. I'm actually not supposed to be doing HIIT anyways because of my program is like very strictly strength based. I'm not supposed to do any cardio. So don't tell anyone, I guess, who really cares. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go do a workout, back squats today. I also have to go to the post office because me and one of my friends from um, back where I used to live are doing a puzzle swap. So she's gonna send me a puzzle and I am sending her this puzzle, the one that me and Eli did. 
um, which you would have saw on like my Valentine's Day vlog. I don't know. Let's do a little three, two, one clothing change. Get ready for it. Oh yeah, by the way, these are the new Apex shorts. They're so cute. I'm in love with them. I recently just did a photo shoot with um, with the guy, the owner, and um, he just gave me these shorts, and I love them. They're so nice. Uh, by the way, use my code if you'd like. Um, gets you 10% off of Apex Apparel. And yeah, I am still really loving their stuff. Even if you don't use my code, go shop there. It's, it's awesome. So, oh yeah, I was going to do a 3 2, <laughs> two one. My mind is so scattered today. Literally, I, it's like 12 o'clock already. I haven't been out of the house. I was going to go for a walk and then I ended up getting sidetracked with like Instagram and filming and making coffee and stuff like that. Um, I was supposed to teach a high intensity interval class today also and it got um, cancelled. There's not that many people that are signing up for it, but granted it is at 6.30 in the morning. Alright, three, two, one. Ooh. <laughs> Here we go. Taking you over to my other mirror. Don't mind my messy room. Um, but yeah, I just recently got this sports bra. Um, to match the camel leggings and the camel leggings have never actually really been like a favorite of mine Go to this one. Just because they like I should have gotten an extra small for sure. I think these are a small They just feel big. I don't know if the actual fabric feels big, but they kind of make me feel big If you know what I mean, um, not saying that's a bad thing at all like I'm trying to bulk <laughs> right now So I should be trying to be bigger. Um, but yeah, I don't know, like they, I think I just need a little bit more like compression and I should have gotten an extra small, but the sports bra is definitely an extra small. It is tight, but that's kind of what I wanted to feel cinched. Yeah, anyways. You know, I might as well do this now because I've been, I've been wanting to do this for a little while and might as well be in a vlog before I go to the gym because then it's candid. I haven't put anything or taken anything out of my gym bag. So I'm going to show you what's in Asia's gym bag. Okay, first of all, I have these pills, um, creatine monohydrate uh, capsules that I've been taking for a while now on my bulk if you have been following along. And you take four a day, two in the morning, two at night, or two before a workout, two after a workout, really doesn't matter. Um, yeah, got those. Got my barbell hip pad from Peach Bands. So the one thing that I'm not really enjoying in my program by Jeff Nippard is the fact that there's no hip thrusts. And I haven't really looked ahead whether there will be hip thrusts, but I'm on week five out of 11, I think, yeah. Week five out of 11 and there is no hip thrusts. And girl, I need those hip thrusts. Let's see, a mask, of course. Got <laughs> so many protein bars. Um, so these have been in my, in my bag forever. They're the flavor I don't really like, so I usually keep them in my gym bag just in case I like come across someone who needs one or like if I'm in a real pickle and I really need to eat something. But other than that, I don't really eat protein bars that much. Got a hip circle. Got my belt, stability belt. Got my wraps. Um, I have my little shoe insoles for my Metcons. They are just, I think they're half inch risers or maybe less. Oh, eight millimeter risers. Yeah, you just slip these in any shoe. It can be your Metcons, it doesn't have to be. I did it with my Adidas the other day and you, you just get that hard surface and a little bit more of height for your, your squat. Usually it's for a squat. So like if you're like lacking in ankle mobility, you'll want a little bit of help for you to get the proper form if your ankles can't do it because then your knees will have to um, make up for your ankles and you don't want that. So you put, that's why people put a little bit of a riser underneath their heels sometimes when they back squat. If you're ever wondering why people do that, um, another band. A lock for my locker um, and then some deodorant and then literally garbage 
there we go. Now you know. I'm having one of those days where you do your warm up and it hurts just to warm up. My quads are just feeling so activated, like I tried to over overactivate my glutes and really warm them up. I didn't include it in the video, but I um, did a big warm up, big glute activation, and they're just still just so tight. Right now I'm doing four warm up sets at a plate aside, and then I have to build it up to my three rep max. So the good thing about this program though is the full body days. So that means you're not working your quads all the time, going in between kind of like upper lower core um, split kind of thing, which is really nice when you're having days where your quads are super tight and you don't want to do a full leg day, but you can still get your strength on your back squats. So. everyone I just woke up and I'm about to eat one of these muffins that I made and um, so the last time the last time that I vlogged I'm pretty sure was on Tuesday and now it is Saturday I just didn't want to pick up my vlog camera when I was feeling meh, you know? Like I was just so, I was kind of feeling down actually. I took a break from social media. I haven't gone on Instagram for like three days. Um, I think it was just that I was out of a routine. The amount of importance that a routine has on my life, when I'm not on a routine, when I break routine, everything goes out of whack and that's kind of what happened just like general like not wanting to get out of bed not that I like had I have depression or anything like that just laziness like I didn't want to hit a workout I didn't feel good in my body I didn't want to look at Instagram because I was comparing myself to other people um, which I never really do like I'm usually always like psyching everyone up and they're on their journey I'm on my journey and that's how it that's how it is in my mind and I could tell that something wasn't right but I just, I wanted to share that with you because, um, you know, I could totally just like pick up this blog and be like, oh, it's the next day, but it's not. It's like six days later. So I just wanted to come on here and say that I'm feeling much better. And um, I wanted to kind of share the things that I am going to do to change how I was feeling and how I'm still feeling right now. Um, we're I mean, gym clothes, obviously. We're about to go to the gym, so, um, like, even though I don't want to really, like, today is the only day that I feel like I can smash a lift, but before, like, even, you know, I was, I was feeling unhealthy in my mind, but I was also feeling unhealthy in my body. I wasn't wanting to fuel my body properly. I wasn't wanting to eat well. I wanted to get fast food. All last week, I was just like, I don't want to eat healthy. I want to just eat pizza and pasta and, well, not that 
either of those are bad things um, but like burgers and stuff like that too and it's not that any of those foods are bad it's that my way of thinking about them were bad and unhealthy and so I wanted to share kind of my steps to get me out of this funk and back on a routine I will be doing that a little bit later, so we're going to, I'll take you with me. I'm not going to film a workout um, today because uh, there's already one filmed in this vlog. So I'm going to take you, we're going to go to Starbucks first. I'm going to, I think I'm going to try that new brown sugar latte thing that <laughs> everyone's trying. Um, but I have heard that you should put a pump of chai syrup in there and it makes it so much better, apparently. Here, let me show you my outfit today. So. We've got on Vital Seamless, and I'm pretty sure this top is Vital Seamless as well, but I got this top probably about five years ago, and that's crazy because it's like still looks so brand new. I'm not even sure if they make this one anymore. Like, I know they make the Vital Seamless long sleeves, but I'm sure that they've, like, done something different because now all the Vital Seamless are, like, um, way higher up, kind of like bra. Height, and this one comes down really far which is nice for me like I like that look just to have like a little bit of belly showing and stuff yeah got on my socks I feel ready for the gym today I am actually really excited to go and also to write down all of those goals to get myself back in the swing of things okay we just ordered but I just wanted to show you what I ordered because I kind of did the recipe a little bit different so I got the ice brown sugar oat shaken espresso with an extra splash of oat milk light ice two shots of espresso instead of three and one pump of caramel syrup as well as the brown sugar syrup it didn't give me an option to do the chai oh well we'll just uh, we'll just see how that is you excited to get Starbucks I spilled all over myself <laughs> what did you spill? pre-workout it's everywhere oh, shit. <laughs> but yes I am excited I'm gonna you're a messy person why you got garbage everywhere <laughs> in my car it's everywhere it's not that much garbage look at look 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 look, look, look. go empty your car oh, you're really making me do this right now uh-huh we gotta wait for the buckers anyways <laughs> why do you call Starbucks buckers because it sounds fucking hilarious there it's clean Happy? Yep. The last person to die. <laughs> what? <laughs> the guy from the Titanic, the, the head chef, uh, was one of the last people on the boat before it sank. And his blood alcohol content was so high that uh, he ended up not getting hypothermia or any, uh, what is it called, frostbite or anything like that. Because 50% of his blood alcohol was alcohol. So he treaded water for three hours and when they saved him, he was perfectly fine. So what are you saying? What's the conclusion of that? Some people are smart. We should all just become alcoholics and- then Are you freezing to death right never now? Never freeze to death. Are you freezing to death right now? No. Wait until you're sinking on a ship and then make that choice. Well, I can't. Well, you can't what? Just become an alcoholic. Well, you don't have to be an alcoholic. He was an alcoholic. Just drink a lot. I see Starbucks. Wow. Who are you? Thanks. Look at her. You know her glory. What'd you get me? I got you a um. <clears throat> a um. <clears throat> what's uh, that? What was it? An uh, a um. <clears throat> no. For, Come on. What's an a um? Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Um, it's a latte. Thanks, a latte. You're cute. Um, it's one that you'd like because you like... Oh, it's a hazelnut latte. It's a hazelnut latte. I'll try it. Mm. If you don't like it, I'll get you something else. Mmm. Yeah, that's hazelnut for sure. Okay, but is that your like level of sweet or my level of sweet? Mine. I feel like it's just foam. Um, do you want me to go get an extra pump? I think I'll live. I always seem to like it after a little bit. I think I just have to tune into it. Shake it up while the syrup's at the bottom. 
off to the gym we go. You know what, now that it's 10 o'clock, I have no urge to go to the gym. It's okay, it's okay, yeah. It's okay. I think I almost would. Okay. <laughs> I think I almost would get the three espresso shots instead. Okay. Do you need that much espresso? Well, I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. It's not my favorite. It's okay. I kind of, I definitely like the um, the white caramel macchiato a little bit more. Like, Hell yeah. <laughs> you know, you've never even had it. What the fuck, a white macchiato? Oh, excuse my language. No! I've had a white macchiato before. Hell yeah. Oh, okay. I've had a, and cool too, and then I add brown sugar to the top. Mm. Oh, yum. You're a Starbucks fanatic. Connoisseur. This is Salve weird. Shea. You want to try mine? No. <laughs> if it tastes better and this one already tastes the way it does, then I'm really going to hate this. No, it doesn't taste better. I feel like they just made me hot water with a hint of hazelnut. And how much did you pay for this? Six bucks? Yeah. The coffee you make me is a billion times better. And what is it? Instant coffee. Mm -hmm. You pour hot water on it, it's good to go. True. Okay, this is growing on me. I kind of like it. I definitely like the oat milk because we yeah. usually get um, soy milk with everything. Is there soy milk in this? Yes. No, it's fine. Better not be any weird oat milk. <laughs> Hi, everyone. So, me and Eli have made it back from the gym. I had such a good lift. I hit a PR today. So excited. Um, in, on deadlift. So, we did, I did deadlifts and then I did bench press. Um, pull-ups, triceps, and calf raises, and leg, leg abductions. That was a really good workout. I can't believe I hit a PR. I had this PR, or like this um, weight that I wanted to deadlift set out in my mind at the beginning of the month, and I thought it would take me a lot longer than it did to hit it. It's only the 5th of November, November, <laughs> March. <laughs> Clearly, all the blood is still in my body and not in my brain. Um, just made a little smoothie for um, post-gym. It's delicious. It's our protein powder and some strawberries and raspberries. Mm. But anyways, I'm going to do... I had an idea. So, in order to make this goal-setting fun, I wanted to do kind of like a tracker. So, like a color, colorful tracker to see this month if I can um, achieve like all the goals that I want to every day. So, I got my piece of paper and my crayon. And I'm not really sure how I'm gonna set it up. I hope that it happens in one try, but I've got extra sheets of paper just in case. I'm all finished so as you can see on this axis we have all of the days of March starting with the 7th because it's the 6th today so I'll try to get everything tomorrow um, and then these are just daily goals and um, hopefully this can get me back on kind of somewhat of a routine so I started with meditation I'm trying to do 10 to 15 minutes a day I was doing this about two weeks ago and then I stopped I'm trying to get back on that in bed by 10 30 sticking to my meal plan, taking my vitamins, drinking two of my water bottles because they're they're like really big bottles, the bottles like this big. So trying to drink two of those a day, get in 10,000 steps. Um, I want to do um, walks more, so I've been trying to up my step game because sometimes I'll just, if I have like a free hour or two here, I'll just like sit around and look at my phone or watch TV or like something, you know, so if I'm not doing work, at least I want to be getting some fresh air. So, getting my 10,000 steps. I want to start reading for 10 minutes at least a day. Um, just because, like, I've been wanting to read some books and I just can't mentally kind of bring myself to read. But if it's just for 10 minutes and I literally can just set a timer on my phone for 10 minutes. And, yeah. And then um, post my gratitudes on Instagram. And, yeah. Yeah. Those are all the, the um, goals that hopefully get my life back on track. <laughs> and it's nice because it's all colorful. Now that I am done that, I'm going to get ready because me and Eli are going to go over to my cousin's house for a paint night. 
And so we're gonna take off some photos off of Pinterest and try to recreate them. So I'm actually really excited to see how Eli does and me. Like I, I have a picture in mind that I want to do. So we're just pretty much like copying these pictures from, from Pinterest. But this is the one that I kind of want to recreate. But I'm not sure if that's going to be like the vibe that I'm going to be in the mood for once I start painting. So we shall see. I don't think I'm going to be um, filming a lot of the actual painting, but I will film the results, hopefully. Hello, I'm back. Um, so yesterday I did that paint night with Eli and my cousins and I wanted to show you, just before I end this vlog, my painting and Eli's painting because he actually did a really, really good job. So he already hung my painting. It's right here. So I ended up trying to do the butterfly <laughs> um, with the sunflowers and it turned out okay. I don't hate it. It definitely needs like some depth in like because it's just like the background and then the sunflowers and um, the butterflies. So like if I were to go back and fix it up a little bit to make it a little bit more like that photo, I would... I don't know. I don't really know how I would do it. I, maybe I'd add more detailing and more um, kind of like dark in the background to make it look a little bit more realistic, but yeah, that is, that was really fun. Let me show you Eli's. He hung his in the office. Eli, say hi. Hello. <laughs> um, tell us about your painting. <laughs> What's his name? It's Chunk. Chunk's the cat I drew. Isn't it amazing? Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Eli's actually a really good painter, hey? So yes, now it is Sunday. It's actually kind of later in the day. Anyways, I'm gonna end this vlog here. So thank you so much for watching and I will be back with another video sometime soon. Thinking about doing a what I eat in a day video, kind of get me back on track with my diet. Oh, I did um, put up my little daily goals right here so it's just like easily accessible with my um crayons to just plot my march goals so yeah i think um doing the what i eat in a day video would really help get me kick started on eating enough um yeah anyways thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one